and this is the design so far. Just now they just need the flowers that go here and the other end piece there. And the trim. end of it. All right so and then the trim will go like this with the end piece on it and the other gold on top of that on both sides. There and here. ready to line up the next section, which would be this one right here. Um, so first thing I'll do is cut this out. And what I want is those areas where it will have to connect with the other the next section, the, the, the section that's already embroidered. Now with this one, the hoop, you can see I've got a lot of room to move it around in the hoop. If it's centered in the hoop right here, you can see that I can obviously move it up or down. So, it's made to go right underneath the angel at this point. And what I want to find is make sure I'm putting it in the center of this. Here's the, here's the center. Should go down the middle of the angel. should be about right. So this should be the center. And so I want to line this arrow up, but at the same time I need to match up the, the leaves coming out of here. So that would be, that looks like a right, the right spot for it. And I'll pin this in place temporarily. Okay. And then I need to check to see if it's straight, because it doesn't look straight to me. Here's the center. The center should actually go that way. And the reason I know that is because this is, at this point here is where the, the trim is going to come down. Oh, come on. This trim, I need to roll it up so it's not all over the place. Okay, so the trim is going to be coming down here from that applique piece that will be up in here like this. And it should come close to but not over top of these vines. So, let's pin it in place, and I'm going to adjust. 
had to change the card. It was the card that was full. And the battery. All right, so this is where the trim is going to be coming down on this side. And this is where the trim will be coming down on the other side. And measure, measure, measure. The inside area is it's like four and a quarter. One, two, three, four, five and a quarter. And in the center, it's one, two, three, four, five and a quarter. And down here, it's one, two, three, four, five and a quarter. So that would be, that would, this is, this trim is fine. It's the same all the way down. Uh, but this doesn't look straight. So let me take this out. Because the cross hairs on it aren't straight. So let's put it, this should be about the center, and right on that and the center is here is that the half yeah so the center should be here at the half which it isn't but I can adjust it over um, Let's try running it down the edge of that at the exact half. See what happens. All right, so there is the center. There is the center. And so this Okay, that would be the center. So this needs to then go over to that point right there. And that actually lines up where it should on the cloud. So, I'm just going to put a pin there because now I know it's where it should be here, but am I straight this way? So let's line this up and this up. And it looks like it is. It's just a tiny bit it's not straight. Now what I don't line, like is this embroidery is coming out a little bit into the area where the trim is going to cover it. But it's not on this side, which means that even though this is the center, I think I would like the design to be a little bit more this way. 
so that's entirely within the, the borders. Okay, you do one thing I forgot to do, and that is to cut out a piece of this crosshairs so I can chalk it. Okay, so this is where I want it to go. Make sure it's inside the side where it should be. And straight up and down. Straight this way. Let's make sure it's straight this way again. That's the center, but then I moved it off the center. Okay, that looks good. Now let's see if it's straight this way. No. So I'm going by the, the trim, and that's straight with the edge of the trim, and pretty much straight on this side, and this isn't straight here. Let's do this again. Straight with the trim there. Straight, straight, straight. Okay, so I'm going to chalk the crosshairs here. I could put the thumbtack from the other side, but um, I'm just going to put pins for now, and I'll see if I need to put the... Okay, so what I have now is, I have this, the design, where I want it, I think where I want it, and I'll take this, these off. Now I have to put it into the hoop so that it's in the right, same position. Um, it doesn't have to, as I say, this one doesn't have to be centered in the hoop because there's a lot of wiggle room to play with. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over and I'm first going to cut off this excess stabilizer here. So I can put another piece of stabilizer there.
again, I don't have my template, so I'm going to use this one. And so I put, the center should be the same. I don't need any of these markings, but I do need to know where the center is. And I think I'm going to use the thumbtack. Just because it will make it easier. Okay. And put this back here. Now I know the thumbtack, the center should be right at the center. I actually have marks on here. You can't see them because they wear off. Even with a permanent marker, they wear off. Maybe I should use paint or something, but there's, I put marks on both sides of the, you can see them, they stay on this side. So that's, that's where the center of the hoop should be. And I'll, huh, yeah, but I need to put it this over it like this. Okay, so. So now you can see the marks where the pretty much where the thumbtack is. I'll center it in the hoop using the hoop lines around the edge. Now I need a piece of stabilizer to put on here. I've got plenty of scraps, but I'm going to use a whole piece for that, I think. paper out and I can see them the crosshairs. And I need to go up a little bit more. Go over a little more. Okay, so there's the there's the thumbtack at the crosshairs. Pull this fabric out flat. Now, after I put this on, I'm going to have to check and make sure that it's straight. Right now, it, it looks straight. Again, I have wiggle room, so if it's not exactly in the center, I can adjust it, but it still has to be straight in the hoop. I can move it up or down or sideways, but if it's at an angle, I have a problem. So, here's the crosshairs with the, the thumbtack, and it's crossing here at number one, so it's, and it's crossing here at number one. So, I'm straight this way. And this way, it's at zero and zero. So I am straight. And so I can take this, I can now undo the paper and take it over to the hoop. 
And right there's my thumbtack and my crosshairs, which thumbtack on. All right. And I'm going to pull this up a little bit just to make sure that all the tension is out of it. Well, that's not the right word. I want to make sure that it's taut in the hoop. I mean, when you embroider, you get the fabric as taut as you can. You need to do the same thing when you machine embroider. All right, it's a little puckered here because of this, but that's fine. Um, all right, so I am now ready to So now I'm go over and sew this in place. And then I'll come back. I don't think you need to see that so. so there's nothing special about it. <coughs> that took about 40 minutes. Um, and the The needle came right down in the middle of the crosshair, so I didn't have to uh, adjust it at all. <clears throat> all right, we'll take this off. And just out of the way for a minute. So this is what we have so far. Now we just need the piece that goes across the bottom that matches this. So this is what it is, um, and so I'm going to cut it out I know the key for it is right at the top of this flower here, flower petal. have to be too exact but I do need I need the top cut so that I can see where things match so you got you do need to take the paper off up here but the rest of it can be pretty general This is pretty, this does not have a lot of wiggle space in the hoop here, um, at least in this direction. It does have a little bit this way. All right, so. Uh, again, I need to cut the crosshairs. doesn't matter which section as long as one of them is. All right, now. This, I'm pretty sure, goes right there. Now, I can really put it pretty much anywhere I want, but because the stems end here, and here and here, those that's where these should come in. All right, so with that in mind, I'm going to turn it this way and <clears throat>
Again, I'm going to put the thumbtack the hoop on top of it. Uh, I need a raise whole piece of stabilizer again. Um, so I don't get the distortion I did at the at the top. And of course, see, see, this was wasted stabilizer. That's why I often use small pieces. But sometimes it's better to waste it. All of this will get cut out. All right. Get a piece of stabilizer. First thing I want to do is kind of generally pin this. I, I may be changing it, but and certainly moving it around. So I pinned the wrong stick. Now, is this... Should be the center right there. Alright. Now again, because it's only one, you can this can rotate on that pin. So the next thing I need to do is I don't like that this is all the way over to here. This is the center. This should be fitting in the hoop. Um, So, just, just to see, let me push this over a little bit, let's lay this out, I want to try and see where this hits, alright, so it should start up here, about here.
this one should start. should run down just outside should meet this One, two, three, four, five. I think we had it five and a quarter. One, two, three, four, five. A quarter would be here. There's advantages to having cloth on the table, and there's disadvantages. The disadvantage is that you always, you always seem to catch it when you pin. All right, so this is five and a quarter. This is five and a quarter. Over, I'm coming right over on top of this here, and I don't really want to. I want. I want to see. Though I may have to. Five and a quarter. Should be two here. take all of this out of here for a minute until I get this measured. It's going to catch on the thumbtack. Alright, so now take these pins out. So this is where we want to go. See if that's five and a quarter. Five, a little more than a quarter. Actually, this should be in slightly, or the other one should be in slightly. 
five and a quarter. Both of them should be in slightly. Right there is five and a quarter. It's about the same distance as this, a little bit lot farther, but close enough. All right. So we can take this off now. Normally, that trim at the edge is not a problem uh, because you usually cut the piece and uh, the, the, the trim covers the raw edge. And <clears throat> But because this time, the trim is part of the design. I have to know exactly where it goes. So that's, that's why I have to do it this way. All right, so we'll pull this back. And line up everything. Cross here's and all. And then we'll go back to this. Don't know which I had just turned, it really doesn't matter. Alright, now we go put this back on the crosshairs. Get right there. All right, now I need to make sure this is straight. So, with the edge, it looks straight, but that doesn't mean anything. Now, this is going onto the metal thing, and it shouldn't. Um, that's because this is turned the wrong direction. Okay. So, you need to leave everything the way it is, but turn it in the hoop this way. See, because there's an arrow that tells you which way is up on the hoop. And up on the hoop is actually this direction. So, it's uh, down under the table. So, up on the hoop, the arrow is going this direction, and that's the way. So, that's the way it should lay in the hoop is in that direction. So, um, We just need to readjust this. To that spot right there. Alright, now I'll make sure it's straight. Okay, there's the metal, so it's fine there. There's the metal, it's fine there. I can always move it a little bit in the hoop that direction. But now I've got to get it 
straight in the hoop and I can tell it's a little crooked. Alright, so. And this is where a snap hoop is nice because it's so flat. Even though there's embroidery here, if you were putting this in a in a normal hoop where you have one piece pushing it down inside the other one, it it will bend this embroidery and it also causes a certain distortion, not in the embroidery, but also how it's laying in the hoop. So um, that's where here it's laying nice and flat. the edge there's the design this is the flat edge here right here okay so straight up and down I won't be able to tell this until I put the other hoop on flat edge, edge of the hoop. It looks like it's laying crosswise correctly. It's right on the line. Alright, we'll try it. And because snap hoops are flat, you can even adjust it a little bit once you get it in the hoop. You can still pull it a little bit in one direction or another. It's held in place by these mag magnets, the whole frame is magnet. I didn't like how that fell. Come on. Pop up again. Alright, let's try this again. Line up. Okay. Here's the middle. Now let's line, let's check the center. It's a little crooked. If I lay this right on the line, it goes from zero to it's to about a half a centimeter off. means I can try and pull it this way a little bit at this end. Alright, now let's try that. Zero, zero, now it's right on the line. Alright, I'm going this direction. I'm at one. I'm not at one. We're over one. Let's see. Alright, so that's two, two, and right on the line. So now it's square in the hoop. And So I can take the paper off now. Take the thumbtack out. 
my template away and I'm ready to take this to sew. This is now there's keys. So when all the, it, one of the things that first it will do is we'll pull that up without marking the crosshairs. But the crosshairs should be right here where the thing is. Let's try this again. Just, just put that up it. All right, so it should come down right. Actually, the cross, the the hole is here. It should come right there. Um. So it should, one of the things it'll sew is the, it won't sew, but it'll put the needle, that, because I, I'll do it without thread. Show me where the crosshairs are, and it should also mark, go around the places where this, this leaf is here. Right there. And if it does that, I know everything else will fall in, in this in place where it should. Um, I'm going to mark this just for the fun of it. We've already, I've already shown you how that sews. It'll be no different than the top one up here. Um, so I don't think I'm going to show you all of that. But I will show you the finished. And if, there, if I had any problems, I'll let you know.